So one of the main problems with narcissistic abuse is that it can cause problems in the long run. These can include mental health problems, possibly even brain damage, in the form of, for example, what we're going to talk about today, which is CPTSD or complex post-traumatic stress disorder. This is related to PTSD that soldiers in the battlefield can suffer from afterwards, after traumatic, traumatic events. Emotional symptoms. So if you find yourself feeling sad or depressed, even suicidal at times, and possibly you may have anger that is just unstoppable occasionally, or even no ability to feel any anger at all. All these things can be signs of emotional abuse and CPTSD. Explosive anger can be in the form of amygdala hijack, and the amygdala are two small pea-like, pea-sized parts of your brain that are just above your, your earlobes and about, well, an inch, maybe a couple of centimetres in. And amygdala hijack is when they run out of control, basically, and take free control of your brain. And that's what, uh, what rage is, basically. And you may be more susceptible to this if you suffer from complex post-traumatic stress disorder caused by emotional and narcissistic abuse and also gaslighting. Detachment. This is when you feel you have no connection to what is going on around you. It feels like you're watching a movie about your life rather than actually being there in the here and now. You may find yourself completely forgetting about traumatic events and just having a sense of disassociation from previous things that have happened to you. Almost like a brainwash. Alternatively, you may find yourself caught in a cycle of constantly remembering and being caught within traumatic events that have happened to you. Self-perception. You may feel that you are completely different from other people, that you can't really relate to them. You may just have a background feeling of, of guilt and shame and not really understand how you are different from other people, but you definitely feel it. This is a symptom of CPTSD. Distorted perception of your abuser. You may feel that your abuser has total and complete power over you, even though the facts would seem to suggest that isn't the case. You may become completely obsessed, or you may be completely obsessed, with your relationship with your abuser. You may also be preoccupied with seeking revenge on your abuser. Damaged relationships with other people. You may feel or find yourself being completely isolated from other people. You may completely distrust strangers and even friends and family. You may feel that you are dedicating your entire life to finding a rescuer. The truth is, really, only you can rescue yourself. Self-beliefs and principles. You may find yourself living with a sense of helplessness and despair and adopting quite unusual belief systems and principles around that. So these are all symptoms of complex post-traumatic stress disorder. Complex traumatic stress disorder is similar to normal post-traumatic stress disorder, which is what soldiers, unfortunately, can suffer from quite commonly. It has all the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, but a whole load of other ones as well. It normally comes from sustained emotional and possibly physical abuse over a long time period, rather than post-traumatic stress disorder, which is generally from one or a small series of extremely frightening or stressful incidents like you would find on a battlefield. So if you have any of these symptoms, it's worth doing more research into complex post-traumatic stress disorder. Complex post-traumatic stress disorder can be helped and to a certain extent healed using techniques such as CBT. We'll talk about some of these in future episodes. So I hope this video has shed some insight into complex post-traumatic stress disorder and perhaps you feel you may have one or more of these symptoms. Stay safe, be strong, and remember, you are not alone.